Hello there. For today's video, I have this wonderful PCB with Turok on it. Why is it even here? Okay, so we have a Game Boy Color PCB here. Um, that still has the screen on it. Or it didn't have a shelf, right? I bought, bought it as is. Um, but it works. Wonderful. So what we're gonna do today is install a beautiful mod, which is called the V4 Pro something something uh, IPS something something screen mod. I'll, I'll put it probably somewhere on the screen. The V Pro Pro Letters Shining mod. And I've got this, also this really nice shell for it. Which is also pre-cut because it has some, uh, if you have a normal shell, it needs some cutting. But this one is pre-cut. So yeah, first we're gonna do is remove this screen. Okay, so let's just push this one out. And then we can remove this, which is the screen. And now we can put this screen on and we'll see if, it, if this one works. The best thing we can do is probably lay it out like this. Close it up again. And we just need to test if it still works. This is actually all you need to do for just checking. And we see that it works, so that's good. We don't need a replacement screen. Good. So what's up next? Um, I guess we need to remove screen again. Like that. Lay it here. We actually need to remove these uh, pins flush. Can you see them? Yeah, so they're not that flush. They can be flusher. Flusher? Flusher? Usher? Or whatever. We need to cut this because it can actually press on the LCD screen. So we need to make it more flush, which we're gonna do with some flush cutters. It will still be working, but it's now more flush. Okay, what's next? So we need to wire up these to the board. And um, it says here A, B, select and battery. So uh, I guess A and B are these points, the P10 and the P11. And then we have also the P12, which is select. I think it's a little bit scary because we need to, sol to solder right where the screen is. And if the screen gets too hot, it will actually damage it. Now let's do some soldering. We can already do the pins a bit. Okay, so I already pre-soldered the pads. Like you can see these ones, like the P1, P11, and P12. And also these ones, it's, it's a little bit shitty, but it's enough solder to keep the uh, wires on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire them first here, and then we'll wire them to the right places. that now we can solder them to the right pads so this is the B one so it's gonna be here like that like that and then we have to select like that these are fairly straight so I'm happy with that but now we can uh, work on the shell so um, I'm really not sure how this works. As we got this one, and it should, says that we should place this one first. We'll just fuck around and see, I guess. Oh god. Make gloves. It's still completely wrong. You know what? Fuck it. Okay, uh, th this, is, this is fine. Okay, so now the protective layer is removed. And then also remove this. Okay. It needs to be centered like that. And attach this insulating film to the metal surface on the back of the screen. This is a insulating paper. Oh, it's a really good one, by the way. Okay, this is better. Ooh. 
That feels nice. Now let's apply the insulating film on the PCB. It's too large for the PCB though. Yeah, Epper, you dumbass. Of course it's too large for the PCB. It needs to go on the Game Boy, not on this PCB. Fuck, I can't do anything without looking at some instructions. It's a miracle I can put on a shirt. I, uh, I fixed it, by the way, just now. Don't worry. Okay, so it's in here. You can now attach the sensors. Let's take them out of the package. So we're gonna install it like that. And this one will be right here, I guess. And then this one will be right there. Peeling the sticker. And it probably sticks in there. I was right. That's good. Okay, now you. Why did I? I could have done this, just this. Jesus, I'm stupid. But you see that sucker over there? God bless you. All. We'll just stick this on here, and then install it again. That's great. Okay, now we're gonna install the ribbon cable. Wait, how, how are we? Uh, yeah, it should be like this. It's gonna be like this, right? Yes. Okay, so we should probably be able to just put this in there like that. Then close it. Close this one as well. Like that. Let's just put in the buttons. I'm gonna crush. Oh, we can put these back. Uh, B goes here. Mr. A goes here. This one goes here. The buttons. More buttons. these ones now we can do this put it in place bend it a little bit so it oh, fuck. So that stays in place that's it okay what's next the back which uh, mostly people forget to remove it but you can just remove this uh, this white sticker coating because it's not needed so normally you can uh, remove the screw, which I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the screws. Great. Also this week we can remove, we can remove this. But yeah, they just keep this on, which is normally not there. It's a stubborn little fucker. I now know why people leave them on. So now we have this wonderful finish. We're gonna place it back. Okay. We can re-screw them again. Like that. Okay. So now... Let's see if it works. And it does. In, everything is in place right now. We can do this. Right? Right. Okay. Let's get the shell together. Hold up. Hold up. Doesn't it need to be screwed in place? Did I just forget? So yeah, we have these small screws that need to go here. I'm just gonna put them in, not too tight yet. Time to tighten this one up fully. Like that. And now we can put this one on.
And now we can just do remove this part like that. Oh god, no! There's a smudge on the screen. And now we can install this one. So this should be removed. Okay. Now we clean up the screen again. That's right. So now we can put this one on. This is so good. Okay, so is this gonna work? Moment of truth. Oh. Fuck. No. Okay, so the the button is stuck. Oh wait, no, it isn't. Yay! Yay! It works. It. Well, this one went rather smoothly, unlike my last video. If you want to see more of me messing up, well, thank you for watching till the end. Until next time, bye.